I definitely support uh, this approach and the fair in Vienna because it's a city and it, something has to happen here in this sense and uh, on a sort of an uh, art market system. At the same time we have show in the gallery in the curated bisection. It's one of 21 galleries. So in there we have more or less a kind of a museum-like show even if the artworks are for sale but it's not sort of explicitly thought that the first intentions are not for sale, the first intentions are to have a real good show. And here at the fair, on the other side, we of course present the program of the gallery to make some sales. There were the one or the other new collectors that were coming, definitely. It's always like that and, and it's a matter of yourself to find a dialogue with them and, and to open up your, your sort of uh, booths and to interest them in something what you have. Well, the international renommé of the institutions, we really have to think uh, that this is history. It, it comes out from history and now we have it. So it's our goal, or it's the goal of the heads of these institutions to keep it in this position, on this high level, and to continue with that. On the other hand, we have the galleries of contemporary art, which have a real high level, because a lot are in different international affairs more than welcome and, and uh, have this sort of this level to participate there. It's not about the world which needs one more fair in Vienna, it's Vienna which needs one fair on a high level, on a good level, in that format which fits to the city and it always has to be heightened up and made better every year.